Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 Beyond Light video. Uh, we are back at it over here today. We're going to be doing a quick little video going over uh, where we're at so far in the uh, power level grinding. Uh, for the past two days, uh, how we're doing on our season pass and all that good jazz. Uh, real quick, obviously, you know, uh, we have uh, hit a pretty, uh, we have hit 1220 uh, across the board on all of our characters. Uh, however, I'm, my Warlock is actually the lowest one at the moment because the way I've gone about my power leveling, uh, since my, I'm going to bring my Warlock into the raid, I'm going to go, I have, I've started grinding like this. I did the Powerfuls and Pinnacles on my Warlock first, and I moved to my Hunter, then I moved to my Titan. So my Titan's a little bit higher. I think uh, I can get him to like 1223. Uh, but like, I'm, but like, the, the important thing is that our weapons are getting up there because the, uh, the armor is easily able to be like, I could, I could fill in the armor. I, we could fill in the armor. Uh, with our min maxing and all that good jazz and stuff like that uh i have gotten all the pinnacles and powerfuls done for all of our characters uh except for the moons the moon weekly the uh the nightfalls for all three just because i'm not quite high enough to uh to quite do a 1250 yet um and then we also uh, i have like just the uh the free the survival uh week uh weeklies uh the, the seven wins on my side and, uh, i have like two left to get or something like that but uh real quick looking at our good old artifact here uh we have gotten up to 10 power now obviously uh our artifact is not going to be in uh, like an our artifact power is not actually going to be enabled for uh the first uh, 24 hours of the raid uh so obviously you know you have to look at your actual gear bonus which ours is 12 10 which is obviously pretty nice for sure, but it, it'll, it'll help us get higher powerful gear, uh, for, especially whenever this re this next reset hits right before the raid, because the raid's gonna drop on the 21st, uh, which is also my birthday, which is hella fucking cool. But uh, here's like all of, like the the first like uh, mods and stuff that I've gotten so far. I mostly uh, do love hand cannons, and I just have some overloads uh, and anti barrier stuff just in case uh, whenever I do. I uh, want to hop into the ordeal or anything like that. And then we're running Berserker and Thermal Blooming as our uh, last uh, tier 5 mods and all that good jazz. Really don't, it really sucks that we don't have like oppressive dankness anymore. But uh, it, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, and then let's actually go ahead and pull up our season pass. Uh, and then here we go. So I have not really uh, collected any of the armor. I'm going to use the armor to help mid-max myself around the raid. Uh, when, like right before the raid hits we'll use this to like fill in any like last minute holes that we may or may not have so i'm literally just gonna leave all of these in here uh until i have to bring them out i guess i'll collect this glimmer uh i also have not collected a good amount of our upgrade modules as you can see uh we have let's see yeah three six nine <laughs> eleven thirteen fifteen seventeen nineteen yeah, we have 19 upgrade modules in here just chilling that we haven't collected. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, that is obviously because, you know, we have a max stack right here. Uh, I have been really, really stingy with where I put my upgrade modules. Uh, I don't really want to use them until, like, once again, right before the raid to help fill in any holes that I may or may not, uh, that I may have. Like, in case, I, like, if I need this weapon for this encounter just to help us beat it, I'll have upgrade modules to help get it up to, you know, to up to par, up to status of where we're at. So that's why I'm just really hoarding them, and I've been using them sparingly on a few weapons like the Xenophage, because I I I love this as LMG, and it has been really helping us inside of the new DLC, especially since the uh, guillotine has been up for a little bit. Uh, but that's honestly really it, dude. Like I haven't really been touching that much, and I haven't been infusing them in any of the old exotics or anything. Like I've just really been hoarding them, like insanely amount just really like using them unless i really need to especially because you know we're in the first week i will eventually you know go through all of that like like nobody's business and all that stuff like that obviously you know if you, you really do like obviously you know you're not gonna have your 10 power uh or your upgraded power for when you go into the raid but it's still really good to just to do get your season pass up as high as you can because that season uh at level 50 you do get uh your entire artifact and all the mods and all that good jazz which is obviously really really useful obviously uh, if you want to do it you got to run bounties as much as you can you definitely want to have yourself a ghost with uh, blinding light uh, that gives you 12 percent uh, inc uh, increase xp gains and then you also want to be with a fire team when turning in your bounty so you get that little boost as well there's two passive boosts that you're going to get that's going to like give you about like roughly almost let me let's see how how much does the uh fire team uh power boost give let me see 
Okay, so yeah, dude. I mean, you, you're gonna get like a little over a quarter, just just by turning them in with a fire team and then with having a ghost on you. Like that's really like having that ghost and then being with a fire team, which is only one other person. You're gonna get yourself all that extra x extra XP, which is obviously gonna be really 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 good. Uh, you know, I also did have a lot of bounties. I had a video where we turned in all the bounties uh, that we hoarded before Beyond Light dropped and stuff, just for this sole purpose. Uh, which is obviously very very nice but uh other than that though guys i'm pretty sure that's everything i wanted to talk about i mean obviously you, you want to get your season pass up there bounties 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 i mentioned the ghost shell and the uh beating with the fire team uh, if you uh the way i went about it uh, i went and got all my characters to the soft cap before uh like literally like not even yeah, it was literally day one. I got all my characters to the soft cap just because it was so easy. Like, it was so easy. I, I figured I'd get them to the soft cap and then run into this campaign just to be easier that way. Uh, and then that's what we did uh, on the first day. And the uh, like a little halfway through the second day, uh, we were able to get all that out the way. And then I just been grinding out the pinnacles and the powerfuls or powerfuls and then pinnacles. Uh, and then now we're going to be probably just doing a lot of glory rank and bounty farming just to max out our season pass and get as many uh, powerfuls as you can. Because, man, it's, uh, survival, uh, dude, the glory ranks, you can get so much powerful gear from Crucible. It's actually insane. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop your load on that like button. Subscribe if you all are new on the road to 6K subs. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video. My name's Cree. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.